Math tools by movement has always made it easy to quickly create math equations right from within InDesign. But with the many new features and productivity enhancements in the new Math Tools 2.0, you can be even more efficient and productive. One of the great new features in Math Tools 2.0 is the ability to use InDesign's native Quick Apply feature to insert empty math templates into your text, which allows you to keep your hands on the keyboard so you can lay out complex math equations even faster than before. To show you how easy this is, I will recreate the quadratic equation, which you can see at the top of the page here in blue. Now, I know this formula may look a bit complicated and almost impossible to lay out by hand using only InDesign's tools, but Math Tools is made for designers and production artists who use InDesign. It does help if you know a few simple mathematical terms, such as superscript or fraction or square root, but you don't need to know anything about math to use this. So to start out, you just place your text cursor into the text where you want the equation to appear and start typing. And when you get to something that requires mathematical formatting, all you need to do now is press Command Enter or Control Enter if you are using Windows to open the Quick Apply dialog. For those of you who are not familiar with this feature, Quick Apply is a native InDesign feature that you can find in the Edit menu and which lets you access any feature inside InDesign simply by typing its name. And this works even for math styles that you have created yourself. Once the dialog appears, start typing the name of the math style. InDesign will find the correct style after just a few characters, and when the style name appears at the top of the list, simply press the Enter key to apply it, and this inserts the empty math template into your text. As you can see, the fraction bar is automatically inserted into the text, and my text cursor is positioned in the top part of the fraction, the numerator, and I can just start typing as I normally would in any InDesign story. Now, at this point, I need to insert a square root, which means I need to insert a square root math style. To apply the square root math style, I open the Quick Apply dialog, start typing the name of the style, and then I press Enter when the style that I want appears at the top of the list. I see that the first character in my square root is the letter B with the superscript number 2, so I need to insert the superscript math style. After I type the letter B, I press the Tab key to move the cursor to the area for the superscript, then type the number 2. Pressing the Tab key again moves me out of the superscript and back into the main text that is underneath the square root sign. To complete the square root part of the equation, I just type the rest of the text. Also, you may have noticed that now the equations compose and update automatically, even as I type. This is another feature that is new to Math Tools 2.0. To move to the lower part of the fraction, the denominator, I press the Tab key and type the rest of the text, and I'm done. It's just a fact of life that sometimes you will make a mistake, like I just did up here where I typed a plus sign instead of a minus sign. Now when you need to go back and edit a math equation, Math Tools 2.0 provides better feedback, so I know exactly which part of which math style I'm editing and exactly where the text insertion will be. Also new to Math Tools 2.0 is the concept of math zones. Math zones allow you to mark multiple math expressions, and even text that does not have a math style applied to it, as being part of the same equation. I will do this right now by selecting the x equals, and then the rest of the equation that I just made, then choose Convert to Math Zone from the context menu. Math zones, in addition to allowing you to export your equations as images or as MathML data when you export to HTML or to EPUB format, which is also new to Math Tools 2.0, allows you to quickly and easily navigate from one math zone to the next. This is especially useful when it comes time to proofread all of the equations in your document. Other efficiency improvements in Math Tools 2.0 are the ability to create custom keyboard shortcuts for many more Math Tools features allowing you to do things such as switch math styles or access a more compact context menu even more quickly. By default, Math Tools 2.0 also comes with dozens more math templates than previous versions. One of the most exciting and most requested new features is the ability to convert your Math Tools equations into MathML data or into images when exporting to HTML or EPUB format. To do this, simply open the Empty Editor Export Panel, choose the desired settings, such as naming the file, choosing which image format to use, etc., and then click on the Export button. After you choose the appropriate export buttons, InDesign's own native export dialog will open in which you can then set any of the standard export options. If I switch over to my web browser now, you can see that all of my math equations have been turned into graphics and that the text flows just as you would expect. Math Tools 2.0 comes with many other new and improved features beyond what I have shown here, such as the ability to import and export math styles and math style templates, 
greater control over how math expressions align vertically within a line of text, improved horizontal alignment of vertically stacked items, a more intuitive way to make special characters part of a math style, and many, many others. If you'd like to learn more about the many new features of Math Tools version 2.0, or to download a free time-limited trial version, please go to the main Movement webpage at www.movement.com.